close your eyes. And notice when you're breathing in, notice when you're breathing out. Stay with the end breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to be consistent. If you're trying to develop a refuge here, an important part of refuge is it is a consistent refuge. Otherwise, you're like those hungry ghosts who have a palace to live in, but they can't stay in the palace all the time. They are out wandering most of the day. They take a few hours in the palace, and then they have to go wandering again, exposed to the sun and the rain. This is the way it is for most of us with our minds. We meditate a little bit, put the mind in some shelter, but then we expose it the rest of the day to sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, and a lot of ideas. So try to give the mind some protection. Keep it with one object. Keep it here continually, so you're going to have some continual rest, a continual respite. And you can really see where you're staying. If you stay with one thing a long time, you begin to see cause and effect. You begin to see when you do X, you get Y as a result, and when you do Z, you get something else as a result. And this is how you learn. Otherwise, all your knowledge is what you read about or hear about. And that's not all that reliable. The really reliable knowledge is what you generate from within through your powers of alertness, through your powers of mindfulness. Which means the things that you can know most clearly are your own actions. And here again, there's an irony. For many of us, we're not really clear about our actions. We're not clear about our intentions. We just act on urges without really stopping to think, whose urge is that? Where did that come from? Why do I follow it? And when I do follow it, what are the results? If we make a mistake, often we don't like to think about the results, and so we block it off. And that way we close off ways that we can gain knowledge. Because right here is the most important knowledge you can have, the knowledge of how the mind can create suffering out of anything. Even though it doesn't want to suffer, it has this habit of not paying much attention and then complaining about the fact that it, the results that are coming out are not good. Well, what you do is you make sure you're right here continually and begin to see what kind of causes give rise to what kind of results. And you can herd the mind in the right direction. Now be, you become more and more reliable. You become more and more a refuge for yourself. You can give yourself protection all the time, rather than just for a few brief moments during the day. So try to make your alertness continuous, make your mindfulness continuous. That's how you come to have protection, and that's how you come to have knowledge. And it's through the knowledge that the protection becomes really reliable.